So, video gaming and TV ads is coming together soon. And probably sooner than you actually think. Let me explain. So, this is coming from uh, Axios, A X I O S dot com. And this is actually something new. I just actually didn't pay no attention to us until actually a few minutes ago. Um, so, exclusive new platform launches to bring TV ads to gaming consoles uh, months after the market was after finally going to able after are finally going to be able to run to start running video game ads with consoles and game PC gaming. So why does this matter? I can't believe we're actually going through this, but I'm going to do it like a little quick read real quick. Why does it matter? In game advertisement of mobile gaming, it could be very lucrative for console and PC gaming, um, or PC developers, but studios who have been hesitant to adopt them, uh, fearing the that a uh, clunky ad experience would uh, would mess with user engagement. Driving the news. At first of its uh, first of its kind advertising platform called Player called Player One, Player One, W O N. That's right, Player One, not like Player One, but Player One, W O N. Um, lunch this week, uh, lunch this a week, uh, about a week, allowing big name marketers that are using uh. They are using running splash TV ads to the ability to target younger demographics with similar type of sports that will run in video games. And they got dots, you know, bullet points, whatever you want to call it. And this is what they trying to do. The platform which owned and operated by uh, Similar Simil Sim Media at TV ad tech company will let users determine whether they would they want to watch a 15 or 30 second video in a ad in exchange for being able to unlock exclusive gaming perks. They also, next point, also has struck a deal with some of the world's biggest gaming studios, including EA, Tencent, High Rare Studios, it's EVP. I don't know what EVP means, but uh, okay. Um, gaming and OTT. Uh, I guess Dave Madden. Anyway, um, has also told Elos, Elos, whatever you want to call it, website. So how does it work? I can't believe I'm actually going through this, which has uh, similar. Some media, the words really, really run off the tongue, to be honest, has been uh, testing console gaming ads for over a year, collecting and vesting ads, sports from being, uh, for being, for big band that would typically run on TV. It used the same technology. Developers can use code to code those ads into their games. Then uh, they then can decide which rewards will for, uh, to perform the to provide the gamers, two gamers. Well, it's supposed to be to the gamers, but two gamers, whatever. Anyway, in a change for uh, change for them to uh, to agree and watch an ad <sighs> through its ad server, is seen is able to see whether an ad is completed. But when the ad is complete, it blah, it then sends a notification that you will receive rewards to player to the player. Rewards can be verified in game currency to scan, aka costumes, gaming avatars, and so forth and so forth. Also, in Slim Media, they also have researched and found that players are willing to watch up to 10 ads per day in order to unlock free perks. The company is able to calculate how much, how much video inventory it needed to provide gaming companies by multiplying a, a games, most like a games daily active users, aka DAU. 
uh, count by 10. Being smart to accelerate the free to play or FTP games, uh, FPT games across consoles and platform and PC like Fortnite, Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Warzone, and Roblox. Meaning that audience and playing that playing time has has seen explosive growth. Yet the vast majority of players, over ninety percent, never spent money in their free to play games. That's what Madden said. And the bigger picture. And I'm going to make this as quick as possible. I'm not going to really run through everything else. Um, so, the bigger picture, marketers need a way to reach younger gaming audience between ages 18 and 34. That are mostly core cutters in game ads are cheaper and more efficient than, than band intelligence. A.K.A. throwing it on TV. More cable, television Nintendo high definition TVs. If you still got the rabbit ears, you probably got a little converter box, whatever. What anyway? Um, <clears throat> uh, which is advertised have been working with to date because of the audience so highly softening a software after streaming. Were streamers able to charged a platform for a digital TV ads that target young consumers in game in game ads which are controlled by the gamer are much cheaper than uh much cheaper per ad. Well cheaper per that's what Madden said. And uh don't get don't get confused with Madden the football game and actually the person named Madden. Somebody per a person can be named Madden. So people who like a FB, you know, football head, whatever, you, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so long story short, uh, and, and and the numbers, what they saying so far about the numbers, uh, because they've been doing this all last year. So in 2020, Alice from Morgan, uh, Alice from Morgan Stanley found that uh, rewards-based console advertisement could reach two billion. Even if 45% of gamers opt in. So basically, what it's going to do is, add that run twice per hour would have an advantage cost per thousand CPM. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be actually pro not supposed to mean anyway, or put this in the ship, but beside the point, uh, roughly $20, which is dramatic cheaper than what most marketers would pay for running the ads on TV or even some streaming devices. So what's next? Man said the goal is to continue build, uh, building out a network advertisement and gaming and games that can connect through its platform, going through the incense in console ad marketing. It plans to launch in-game ads and a roughly a dozen more games by the end of the year. And I want to say by the end of this year, because they doing something about the. The failure of um, of Marvels, like they, I think they're trying to put some ads in Marvel to make people to go buy the Marvel game or something. Or no, it's actually no. I take it back. It's Marvel next big mobile gaming, and so that's that's that. Anyway, so that's that. And, and to be honest, be, me being on YouTube and be a a YouTuber. And doing this for I don't know how many years now. I mean, I I kind of get it in a sense, but at the same time, not. Because I mean, honestly, we we don't want another uh, uh, NBA two K fiasco going on. And since everybody's okay with two K showing off their ass and stuff in game to make people to go out to buy more crap for two K. And no offense to anybody who actually played 2K. Uh, I'm not saying it's crap to you. I'm just saying it's crap to me because I, I don't play sport games like that. I, I really don't. But to put into the game and put, but yeah, to put into games that's already making a killing as is. You got people who play in Fortnite. You got the Fortnite tiers. You got Fortnite memberships that's like thirteen dollars or some shit. You got Fortnite. Um, Bundles, gaming bundles, 
Fortnite card bundles, online bundles, anything with Fortnite, dealing with Fortnite, they got bundles for it. Um, you got what I said earlier, uh, uh, what I just say, Apex, you got, you got stuff for Apex, like I own Apex, well not really own Apex because Apex is free to play, but you know, I got it downloaded to my hard drive to my PS4. And I'll go play Apex Legends any given time. I, I don't want to just bust out of nowhere. I'll play Apex Legends at at this time of 3.17 in the morning. I'm busting and grinding. I'm finally get to level 100. Before I hit the level 100, a ad pop up and said, Oh, you hungry? How about you come on down to Taco Bell to get your late night munchies on so you can have some good old gaming fun. Today's special for Taco Bell and uh, Nacho Bell Grande. Box for like five forty nine, and you could get your me and Baja Blast or whatever drink you may offer or want to have. I'm just using Mountain Dew Baja Blast or Mountain Dew Period because I'm a big Mountain Dew fan. But upside of one, but still get the Baja Blast. But you know we have me and Baja Blast and some cinnamon twists or a soft a soft shell taco. Or a hard shell taco, or a a five layer beef burrito mixed with your n nacho bell grande, or a, a get the number two combo or some shit, some, something like that in nature. I, like again, I don't I don't want to literally want to watch Taco Bell playing across my freaking TV while I'm playing uh, while I'm playing games, like especially on my PS4. Like, come on. But now, stuff like Call of Duty, Warzone, I'm glad I'm on mobile for Call of Duty Mobile, but Activision, you, you, you got, literally, you got Call of Duty, Cold War, Black, Black Up Cold War, you got season passes, y'all got season passes for Call of Duty Mobile. People literally giving, literally throwing y'all money every day. Literally. Like right now in Call of Duty Mobile, y'all got a brand new freaking season now. Battle, se battle Pass, to be honest. And there's one person that I know for sure that would love to get the new season pass at the moment. If she's watching this, hi. <laughs> if not, hi. <laughs> in a way, but... Still, y'all got people throwing money to y'all. Hell, not that long ago when y'all had like a little, the, the 90s, the, uh, I did not try to dig in my nose, I was trying to scratch the top of my nose, but the, 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 what, the movies, 80s type thing, shits that you had on, on mobile and also on Call of Duty Cold War and the 2020, is it 2019? Yeah, the 2019 it's not the 2019, I think it's 2020 uh, Modern Warfare Remastered. Well, not Remastered, but Reboot. I mean, y you got, you know, people throwing money at you, man. I mean, hell, I bought the stoner thing. It's pretty dope for Cold War. I, I like it. I, I like the stoner, you know, thing. The 420 stoner thing. It was actually dope. I actually like it. Like in, in Call of Duty Mobile. Like, again... Someone out there is buying the brand new season pass. Like, the new season for Cold War. Someone buying that. Apex. I mean, y'all got stuff for Apex. I don't really know what's on Apex because I didn't, I didn't play it for a, for a while. But, you know, in the end, they got, a little good, they got some good stuff on, on Apex. So, why going for... Why this company... Is literally going for companies who's all making the killing times a million. I mean, yeah, I understand that it's you know hard, or whatever, and trying to push out more ads, whatnot, to target more younger demographic. But I'm part of that young demographic too, you know. Hell, I'm 33, about to be 34 this year. It's the first time I actually said my freaking age ever on YouTube. But guess what? It is. I don't want no motherfucking ass on my goddamn TV in playing in Call of Duty if I ever want to play Warzone, even though I'm never going to play Warzone, period, because that's a Battle Royale game. I don't like Battle Royales like that. Not at all. Again, 
I don't want no Taco Bell ad popping up on my goddamn TV or in the middle of me gaming or whatever or about to go to the next fucking level. And like, hey, late night, you got munchies? Hey, Taco Bell help you out. Or in the middle of the day, hey, go ahead and pull on into McDonald's and get some um, Mac Doubles or Burger King. Have it your way. Come on in with the bacon whopper. Whatever. Or, no offense to anybody who loves this place, because to be honest, I actually do love it, but it seems like I'm kind of a little tired of it, but, yeah, whatever. Oh, come on down to Wendy's. We got your Baconator. No, man, I don't want to see all that stuff on my TV, man. Like, not especially not gaming. So, I, I mean, I, like I said, I get it, but I don't get it. And, and people who's literally still targeting people, I mean, I, I understand they trying to make, you know, marketing and get the stuff more ad, more ad friendly, well, not really more ad friendly, more ad, um, not ad apocalypse, but more ad in your face. Dude, we, we got kids who's eight, nine, ten, six, seven, eight years old. And up, they're still playing video games. They're playing free-to-play games. And they probably is opt-in to the tiers and stuff. And some, that's not opt-in at all. They just want to play, they just wanna play the fucking game. And I kind of see it just a little bit on putting ads in it. But putting ads up to ten times a day, that's a lot. That's hell a lot, and to be honest, man, uh, uh, no, this ain't, that ain't that ain't it, chief. Look, honestly, ask me if you stay on TV, internet, and or on Facebook. I mean, we we already got ads basically everywhere, and not a lot of folks would like to continue dealing with ads. And mainly, we go to a gaming PC version. Consoles, it doesn't really matter. It's to get away from ads that's on mobile already. Get away from ads that's on TV already. Get away from ads that's on YouTube already. And yes, I understand. YouTube is a free platform. But it seems like time, YouTube making a killing because people are paying YouTube Premium. Fuck it. I pay for YouTube Premium. I don't watch ads. I freaking hate ads. I stopped watching TV since 2008. Yes, since President Barack Obama was in office. I stopped watching TV since then. Probably a little bit earlier, probably a little bit more earlier than that. Probably around, hmm, now I'll take that back. Probably somewhere around 26, 2006, 2007. Yeah, yeah, like around 2006, 2007, I stopped watching TV around that time, and I just knew of different events that happened because of the internet and also YouTube, basically YouTube. But still, like, I, I watched YouTube for everything. News, up-to-date information, what's happening in the presidency, what happened... Last year, early this year, what happened in the pandemic, what happened in unemployment, what happened in across the world, or, uh, uh, next door, or whatever, man. YouTube's my, basically my TV, and I don't really watch ads, like, at all. So, there you go. And I know some people that are out there that do watch ads, and kind of, like, look at it and then skip it, wait for a little skip pop up and hit the skip to go ahead and pass pass and then you got them <sighs> oh I can't believe I'm just, uh, I hate this to be honest I hate that with a passion one, and once you do get past a certain ad oh guess what you get slapped with another ad on top of the ad and then within the video you got ads on top of the ad within the ad that you can't skip with the ad then you gotta Play that ad to get to the next ad to skip that ad to get back to the original program. That, that, that's just too much fucking. Per that's just too much fucking ads. Like chill the shit out. Too much fucking ads, literally. And doing this for gaming, 
No, dude. It, this ain't, like I said, this ain't Chief. Come up with a strategy or some shit, but like Call of Duty, Apex, and Fortnite, Roblox. Dude, y'all really is talking big championship games. Well, not championship games, but big title games, big number free games, man. And honestly, lot, not a lot of people who play free-to-play games is going to continue sitting and watching ads on their favorite game to play just because you send more ads. To be honest, and I'm being frankly honest with you, people that's around 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12 years old, they're playing video games, 13 and up, Hell, 18 and up, my age range, we're not going to sit back and continue playing free-to-play games and watching ads come through. We're going to get through, you know what, even better. The more you keep on pushing out these ads for tele for, uh, for free-to-play gaming, the more we leave no alone free-to-play gaming to go to another free to play game that's not really it's not it's not full of ads not really full of ads that's what I'm trying not to, I'm not trying to say that I'm trying to say it's not full of ads or not with ads period and we just like to sit back and play the game and to the point that if y'all continue pushing that crap y'all gonna make us get off gaming completely and that's something that I like to enjoy too, man. I like to sit back, play some games. Like I said, it's 3 28 in the morning right now, making a YouTube video. I like to sit back and play games. I don't like to sit back and watch a freaking ad. If I want to, if I want to watch an ad, I, I go downstairs and and look at satellite TV for like an hour and just watch number like 30 ads within that hour, you know, or listen to the radio, or uh, fuck it. Listen to Spotify or Pandora radio. Uh, yeah, Pandora, and listen to ads for like thirty minutes, for like one time for that whole thirty minutes, and that's it. Uh, I mean, come on, y'all got ads everywhere. Back that shit up, Chief. This not it, man. Especially for gaming. So, tell me what y'all think down below. I will make an article, or not make an article, I will do a copy link of the article, hyperlink, I mean to say, and post it into my description so y'all can have a full glance of the read if y'all want to. Other than that, make a Sunday Z sign out. Y'all have a good one. Be safe. And hey, if you're not vaccinated, just hey, stay having a mask. Until then, peace.